Hi, and welcome back to The Layout. Today, I just want to share a quick tutorial on how to detail a scene, and specifically how to do that through model signs. You know, there's a lot of different ways to add small details to a scene, and all those things come together to really add a lot of realism. So that's what this video is about, and I just want to share a couple tips and tricks for installing signs and bringing these scenes to life. So let's get started. Now, the first step to detail a scene is really to do a little bit of research and go out and see the prototype. For us, that means going to the old Fort Loops and watching a few trains. However, a lot of times whenever you're outside watching trains, your eyes are immediately drawn to the trains passing or just things going on in the scene around you. However, it's really helpful to stop and take a look at some of the details. For us, we'll photograph them and then come back later. But here, as you watch the train go by, take a look at a couple other things in the scene as well, like the two white posts on either side of the rail line um, across the bridge. There's also a Norfolk Southern No Trespassing sign and then some caution signs on either side of the road as it goes under the bridge. Or here, for example, when you might initially be drawn to the train passing, also take note of a couple other things in the scene, like a post which indicates a buried gas line, some cross bucks for a grade crossing, and all sorts of other details in the scene. And if you can't get out and actually see the prototype, going to YouTube and looking at videos of what you want to model is another great way to look at things in the scene around the tracks and kind of get an idea of details that you might want to add to your layout at home. So back to the layout, a few signs that we're going to be using today are some whistle post signs, some Norfolk Southern no trespassing signs, and then some cross bucks for our grade crossings. The signs themselves are actually pretty simple. You could try to make them at home with some balsa wood and printed cardstock. However, we chose to use signs by Small Scale Innovation. They look great, they're high quality, and in my opinion, they're a great price for what you get. So that's what we're going to be using today. Also ordered a few of the FRA placards, which kind of just modernize the cross buck and crossing signs. The installation itself is actually really simple, as you would have imagined. All you have to do is drill a hole where you want the sign, and then you'll simply put it in. We've chosen not to glue our signs because if they accidentally get bumped or if you need to for some reason pull them out or place them, not that you ever would, but um, it's just a lot easier that way in my opinion. So what we're gonna do is drill a hole. I'm gonna blow some of the dust away and then simply slide the post into the hole which we've just made. I usually use a drill bit which is just a little bit smaller than the post itself and that way the pressure will hold the sign in place. As you can see it stays in place and since the layout usually won't be moved around much there's no reason they should go anywhere. So here you can see that this small and super easy and quick step actually adds a lot of realism to a scene. Most crossbuck signs are going to be about half inch and HO scale away from the track and they should never be overhanging the road. Any part of the sign, whether it's the sign plate itself or the post, should be clear of the road and that way any trailers or trucks or even cars passing on the road below don't have any potential to damage or hit the sign on the side of the road. And lastly, I just want to show you how we're going to install a couple signs with metal bases. These are a little bit smaller so you want to make sure that your pressure fit is correct. If it's too loose, your sign could potentially come out while vacuuming the layout. So it's something just to keep in mind if you are worried about it. There's absolutely no harm in gluing it. It's just my preference versus yours. So really nothing wrong if you decide to glue it. And these Norfolk Southern No Trespassing signs, just like we saw in the prototype videos at the beginning of this video, really add a lot of realism to a scene. So here, along all the access roads, we've added these signs. We've also added whistle posts to the side of the tracks, nearing the crossings, and then we've added the cross bucks to the crossings themselves. So as you can see here in a before shot, the scene really does look good. However, just by adding a few details, like a couple signs, it really brings it to life. And as you continue to add more and more of these details, your scene will continually get more and more realistic to look like the prototype. So that's all for today. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.